Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. In this video, we're going to be discussing um, so-called legitimization of children in Thailand. Um, in many sort of common law jurisdictions and in other Western jurisdictions, the notice of legitimacy with respect to children um, is somewhat sort of legally passe, if you will. It's, it's sort of an anachronistic uh, notion within jurisprudence and in jurisdictions that utilize, say, the common law, um, specifically the United States, the jurisdictions I've dealt with with, with respect to academic studies and, as well as practical experience, um, there, there really is no uh, current notion of legal legitimacy, if you will, with respect to children. All children are born um, yeah, of the same classification, if you will. Um, some of this stems from things like the notion of equal protection under the U.S. Constitution, um, the notions of privileged, privileges and immunities of United States citizenship and the 14th Amendment's uh, citizenship clause. It, it basically, at some point in about the past 120 years, it was decided that legally, especially in the United States, they weren't going to make, um, they weren't going to differentiate between so-called legitimate and illegitimate children. Under Thai law, uh, legitimacy uh, remains a legal issue. Um, the, the marital status of the parents of a child at the time the child is born does have bearing on the issue of legitimacy. Now, from the standpoint of the child, it's largely irrelevant. The, the child is not born sort of hampered in any way with respect to their legal rights under Thai law uh, by dint of their quote-unquote legitimacy or otherwise. But that being said, it does create some issues with respect uh, to parental rights, especially with respect to fathers who have not undertaken the process of legitimizing their children who are born to a Thai national here in the Kingdom of Thailand. And this can have sort of knock-on effects uh, with respect to things like child custody in Thailand, etc. Excuse me. For this reason, um, the legitimization process may need to be undertaken with respect to a child uh, born in Thailand, especially where that child is born to a Thai mother and the father is not mentioned on the birth certificate or has not undertaken the full legitimization process uh, with respect to uh, the legal status of that child. It also should be noted that the marital status of the parents at the time of a child's birth here in Thailand can have a rather substantial impact uh, with respect to so-called CRBAs or Consular Reports of Birth Abroad issued by the U.S. Embassy here in Thailand. Um, a CRBA is essentially like a birth certificate issued to an American born abroad and provides the bearer of such a certificate with the right to go ahead and obtain a U.S. passport. It's essentially proof of U.S. citizenship. As noted in other videos, uh, citizenship, uh, U.S. citizenship can be transmitted automatically um, pursuant to U.S. statutory law. Uh, that being said, um, if one has not had, if one's child is not born within so-called wedlock, or, nor has that child been legitimized, um, that may create issues with respect to the process of getting a CRBA. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the ultimate outcome, but in many cases, uh, U.S. State Department officials who are adjudicating matters pertaining to consular reports of birth abroad, uh, in matters where uh, the father is not on the birth certificate or was not married to the mother at the time of the child's birth, um, the DOS officer may require further documentation uh, with respect to proving up uh, the paternity. Most, uh, most importantly, they'll probably ask for a DNA test. Uh, this can be somewhat time-consuming, a little bit more costly. So for a lot of different reasons, legitimization is a significant issue with respect to family law here in Thailand. And uh, those who are interested in undertaking the, le the legitimization process are well advised to uh, contact legal professionals for assistance in the process, especially if the father, usually the father in question, is a uh, is a foreign national here in Thailand. It's probably a good idea to go ahead and have not only a Thai professional assistance, but the ability for foreign attorneys who can explain the process to the foreign national uh, also assist in such a proceeding.